Welcome to the webinar, How to Leverage Growth Report 2020. This is a free webinar from the Business Journal. Today is Tuesday, January 7th, 2020, and it is currently 11.30 in the morning. Appreciate your time today. Really looking forward to sharing How to Leverage Growth Report 2020 and why. Well, Growth Report 2020, it's really just making the most of the PR hit. Growth Report 2020 is an amazing opportunity to make the most of the PR hit of appearing in the Growth Report. So what you'll learn today in this webinar, we're gonna focus on how to submit your story and leverage it to do the following things. How to elevate your company's market profile, how to drive prospect engagement and new revenue, how to improve customer retention, employee morale, and feed the beast of social media. And the best thing I like about it is it's really a great jump start to your 2020 marketing plan. So I appreciate you all attending the webinar today. I'm fortunate to be joined by Bill Russo from 898 Marketing, who's actually filming the production of this webinar as an illustration of how they work with the Business Journal and the Youngstown Publishing Company. And Bill will be here, uh, we're reinforcing and illustrating our method of content atomization. And that's what the goal is today, is how to help everyone here attending, the audience, atomize content to make the most of the content investment. And that's the purpose of the growth report. So let's take it away. Here's our agenda. We're gonna keep it snappy today. For the next 20 minutes, we're gonna focus on what is the growth report, how it's used by the market, how to submit a story. So that alone is an opportunity, but we'll really get into the details of how to submit a story. And then most importantly, once you get your story in the growth report, how to leverage the attention you will receive. And that gets into how to activate the story once we publish it, and then even how to accentuate the growth report story with advertising. And then we'll focus on some tools and support we're pro providing and next steps. And speaking of tools and support, I do encourage you and invite you to stay tuned for the special bonus offer. We will be sharing and announcing special bonus offers for those that stick through the entirety of the webinar. So that being said, we're gonna kick off, but first I'd like to do a brief introduction. So we are sitting here at the Youngstown Publishing Company and the Youngstown Publishing Company has a mission. And our mission is we are committed to the growth of business, industry, and quality of life in the five county region. We're out to positively impact the 700,000 plus people in this community through promoting the growth of business, industry, and quality of life. And we do that through our portfolio of media platforms. Of course, our flagship, the Business Journal, and the Growth Report, our major franchise, which we're speaking about today, we also have an advocacy platform called The Brain Gain, which is focused on building a culture of entrepreneurship and promoting workforce development. And new to the portfolio is After Hours Youngstown. And After Hours Youngstown is the definitive destination for culture and entertainment news and events. So if you want to know what's going on in town, just check out After Hours Youngstown. So with that portfolio, we of course want to give you the opportunity to leverage our new marketing formula for growth. And part of the fact of having a media platform with an amazing audience is that we can then give uh, our clients a marketing formula for growth. And that's a way to achieve brand impact through print, messaging frequency through digital, and how to capture audience immediacy. So we're not gonna get specifically into the MFG today, but if you do wanna ask about it at some point down the road, be happy to share it with you. But the uh, recommendations today on how to leverage the growth report are fueled by our marketing formula for growth. So let's transition into the meat of the topic here for the webinar today. What is the growth report? For anyone that might not be familiar, you know, we want to share that the growth report is this market's iconic publication focused on transformation. We have been publishing the growth report for 35 years and basically it delivers two things. The growth report, it's a way for companies to tell their story of great news and it's a way to help them grow their business as well. So the growth report 
is something that the entire market looks forward to every single year. This year it's being published on February 4th is when it will be available. But you know, the story deadlines, things we're gonna get into today are how we prepare, help you prepare to submit your story and then leverage that story you know, for, for a, good, a better part of the year. But the growth report is an annual uh, tradition here and we're thrilled to be sharing these additional ways to further leverage it. And the growth report reaches an amazing audience, right? So we have spent 35 years and millions of dollars building an audience made up of great people just like you. You, a business leader, a community leader, someone who's really contributing to the growth of this market is in our audience. And we, of course, cover five counties, three in Ohio, two in Western Pennsylvania, but have really increased our reach to the Northwest, Southeast, and South. So we'll continue to grow and evolve as, a, as an amazing regional publication with a strong and loyal audience, great gender composition, and really great age composition. So the Growth Report, it's an iconic publication and it reaches an amazing audience. So to, your, to submit your story and use it in your marketing is uh, a key recommendation today. And if you don't take my word for it, maybe you can take the word of other folks in the market, right? So you have Dominic D'Onofrio, he's the business development manager at Entertech Electrical. I quote Dominic, you know, he says, there's no better means of showcasing our company's growth and with the business journal. And our friend, Tim Petri, he's managing partner of HD Davis CPAs. You know, he says that as we continuously develop and evolve, the growth report allows us to visualize, quantify, and share our goals with the community we love. So there are many more quotes I had submitted um, to share in this webinar today. And if you, um, I had to pick a few, so I picked these two, so I hope you like them. But if you need further enforcement or, or information, please just let us know. But I, I appreciate Dominic and Tim being, uh, being good sports and pitching in their, their quotes here for today. All right. So now that we've got the setup complete, let's take a breath and talk about the story submission process. So the growth report is a publication. More than 200 companies submit their stories and it's their story of growth and transformation. It's an opportunity to share the good news about the impact they're making and how to do it. We do have very good story submission guidelines. So story submission guidelines, this is published on our website. You can see the URL below, Submit Story Growth Report 2020. But if you really think about, well, I'm not a writer, right? I, I'm not sure, don't have a writer on staff. Well, we have many options, many great partners like 898 Marketing, for example. Bill's here in the house. Hey, Bill, you want to say hi? Hey, Jeff. Hey, everybody. How's it going? Shooting video, <laughs> right? So we're using this as an opportunity to atomize content. So how to submit a story in the growth report. Don't worry about not writing. Follow these story guidelines, answer the questions, do your best at crafting the narrative, and then we do the editing for you. So we have seven simple questions to focus on to submit your story for the growth report. So for example, how did you grow and transform your organization, its products, services, workforce, and market? Uh, what investments did you make? What was your percentage growth rate? So just real basic, uh, simple instructions. How did your business grow this past year? What were, what were your focus areas? And what does 2020 look like for your company? And what investments are you planning to make? A third element, and a very important element, and I'll be covering how important this third element is towards the end of the presentation. How is your industry or business sector transforming and how are you adapting to those changes? and technology transformation as well. Once again, important to hit upon. Those are examples of answering those questions and having that in your narrative actually helps to feed an ongoing content strategy over time. So hitting on those are very important elements of your story submission process. You all, we also would love to know what key challenges you faced in 2020 and how you're working to overcome them and, and team focused, right? A lot of the growth report is team recognition, right? It's how do you elevate your market profile, drive new revenue, improve and increase employee morale. Well, focus on recognizing your team and all of their great accomplishments. And not only the team, but the community. So what are you doing in the community 
to drive an impact. So those are some of the elements that really make up the composition of a strong growth report story. And of course, we have a focus question. Obviously, we're going to focus on the brain gain this year. The brain gain, once again, it's our advocacy platform, our 15-month editorial strategy on promoting workforce development and building a culture of entrepreneurship. So we want to know what your company is doing to support the brain gain, right? How are you combating the brain drain? right, this epidemic of people leaving the community. What are you doing to keep, your, keep our kids here and bring our kids back? So anything you're doing around workforce development and entrepreneurship, please make sure that's also incorporated in your growth report submission. And then lastly, to get to the requirements, and, and once again, I hit these fairly quickly just to keep this webinar brief, but, um, you know, these requirements, if you have any other questions, we'd be happy to take them offline. But here are the requirements, 650 words max, right? So that's not a lot. That's, that's just several paragraphs, right? That's roughly a page. Uh, it's not a lot of copy to write. No photographs, please. Um, stick to the facts and no embellishments. You know, of course, we want you to tell the good news, but make it grounded in, in facts and statistics, of course. We'd love to know the details or the firmographic information for your company, of course. The year you were founded, the number of employees, a description of the products, services that you offer. And then uh, the contact information. It's very important that you name the author and the full company name with your address, phone, and, and email. Just all the details in case we need to follow up and ask questions. And one of the most important things I can say and this came up in our editorial meeting yesterday. If it's not submitted to growth at business-journal.com, it does not exist. So make sure you submit your story to the email growth at business-journal.com. Very important because that goes into the queue, that goes into our reporters and our editors to make sure that it's appropriately processed and logged and categorized. So really important to hit that growth at businessjournal.com. So if it's not in there, it doesn't exist. So please, please do that. Now, we've gone through the story submission process. This is where it gets fun, right? How to leverage Growth Report 2020. It's a piece of content published in a major media publication there are lots of points of leverage for the growth report. So don't just view it as a story in a print edition. Uh, this is a narrative you're telling across a multimedia publication because published content, content that runs on a media platform, it's an asset that can pay dividends over time. So content, you know, structured in the appropriate way isn't just a one-off, right? It's something that pays dividends significantly over time. And this is an example of, say we're gonna use Simon Roofing here as our example. So what do you get? How do you leverage the attention of the growth report? Well, Simon Roofing submitted a great story last year, another year of learning at Simon Roofing, uh, sales performance up 15% from 2017. So this is their 2019 submission. They did a great job submitting their story. Their story appears in the print publication. Once again, the definitive record of market transformation. That story is then moved online. And so that same story is published on businessjournaldaily.com. We have a dedicated section to growth report. So that story is transitioned online. And then once that story is online, of course, there are multiple points of activation. We have stories that appear in our daily headlines, in our afternoon update emails. The stories get activated across social media, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram. Uh, we even have TikTok set up these days. So for those of you that prefer the TikTok, but the growth report story, don't consider it, uh, it's important to hit the print publication because that is the definitive record of market transformation. And that's really how to, to emphasize the importance and the critical nature of appearing in a publication that's highly curated by our editor to make sure that the 
information they're in um, basically documents, codifies, creates an artifact of our market's transformation here in 2020. So once you uh, submit the story, these are the ways it appears. And having the piece of content, well, you'll also want to advertise in the Growth Report 2020. So another way to leverage the Growth Report, not only to submit the narrative, but supporting that narrative with images and copy. So here's Simon Roofing once again. They have an amazing story and then it really pops and they accentuate their story with a very beautiful, crisp, clean advertisement. And it emphasizes the services and value created. And it really makes the content stand out and pop. And the thing is with the growth report, yes, it's published on February 4th, but this publication is kept all year long. I uh, visit many offices on a weekly basis, spend a lot of time in lobbies waiting for meetings, and there's always a growth report laying around, right? So the growth report is an amazing publication that's kept all year long. It's a great source of market intelligence. And so if you, you know, have more than 200 companies sharing their stories of growth and transformation, it's a great way to just bone up on the market and, and to, um, see what's happening in the market. So I know that the growth report is a keeper and it's used all year long. So having not only your story, but your ad to accentuate your narrative and to really drive, to be part of this esteemed peer group, you're in great company with all the, the fellow participants in the, in the growth report. That's a great way to leverage the content. In addition, and this is why we're really focusing on this growth report webinar today, how to leverage a growth report. There's an acronym called COPE, create once, publish everywhere. And that means do one thing well, right? So in this case, do your growth report story well, and then atomize it. One published story can be atomized in dozens of ways. Now, when I mean atomized, it means we have, say you have 650 words, well, within those 650 words, there are images and illustrations of the, of the story. There are cool quotes within the story. There are industry insights within the story. There are so many elements within the story that the atomization model using the growth report is an amazing way to power your whole marketing strategy in 2020. And so atomized content travels across the blog. It travels across your email. It travels across social media. It actually inspires other advertising and marketing copy. And that's what we're doing here today, in fact, right? We're, so we're doing double atomization work. We're doing this long form webinar, right? 20 to 30 minutes. What are we tracking at? We're about 20 minutes into the webinar. This 20 minutes, do I expect all of you to have listened? To those that are still here, thank you. But do I expect all of you to have listened the entire 20 to 30 minutes? Perhaps not, perhaps you got distracted, perhaps someone walked into your office, perhaps your phone rang, you had to take the call. Well, we'll be atomizing this content, meaning this webinar will be chopped up into smaller vignettes and smaller activations. The key points, the key sound bites will be extracted from this recording and then further activated to promote the growth report. And the same goes for why our friend Bill Russo from 898 Marketing is here in the room. He's shooting video for their series, Stop Talking, Start Doing on our Business Strategies Video Network. We're gonna atomize this content. So Bill's doing a great job filming video and this video footage he's going to use and, and take back to the office and repurpose in multiple ways. And so there are so many ways to take advantage of one great premium asset, and then in, in this case, a story in the growth report, and spin it out in multiple ways. And to give you further guidance on exactly how to make sure you have the ammunition to inspire your marketing message, these are the story submission guidelines we reviewed a few minutes ago. If I were you, I would hit hard on the areas that we put here in bold. So what investments are you making? What are you planning to make? How is your business or industry transforming, right? So how is your sector transforming? That type of content, and we call it 
educate to dominate educational content around industry transformation, business transformation travels really well uh, down the road and it's great content to be atomized. And also look, improving employee morale. How did your team grow? How are you recognizing employees? Great content to run subsequent through subsequent marketing uh, messages and through your social media. Community service, charitable donations, great content to feed the beast of social media. So just these things alone, if you hit upon these things in your growth report story, are great ways to further power your entire marketing strategy for the remainder of the year. So I, I encourage you to hit upon those areas. So I mentioned, you know, we're coming to the close here and sticking to this uh, focus on really going no longer than 30 minutes. But I did mention a special bonus offer for those that are attending the webinar. Special bonus offer we're offering with the growth report on how to leverage. We really, really, truly do want to help you leverage your growth report. So the top story submissions, the one that we feel best illustrate the growth report and the transformation and the brain gain, we will select 10 of those to get their own three minutes with feature. Three minutes with is a very popular video franchise that we have on the business journal. So we will pick 10 stories for follow-up and they will get their own three minutes with feature. And of course, we'll also have uh, some help for you with a social media tile. It's actually a frame that we'll be sharing. So it's a badge as seen in the growth report where you can apply your company's logo or pictures of your team. We'll also be supplying you a badge and, and you can proudly display your badge. We hope you proudly display, display your badge of your appearance in the growth report and make sure that you really make the most of your appearance and the time and effort you take, right? So this submitting a story does take time, but it's time well spent, right? So one story when atomized properly can pay dividends over time. So Bill, I think we're gonna wrap it up. Yeah. Did you mention the submission deadline? You know what, I skipped over the submission deadline, but you are correct. The submission deadline is the 20th and let me check my notes here. Thank God Bill's here. Yes, the submission deadlines. Story deadline, January 22nd, right? So have your story in by January 22nd and the advertising deadline is January 27th. So even if you want some help designing your ad, very happy to do that. Submit your story, we'll check it out. I'll, I'll directly help you develop the creative execution for the ad as, as appears in the growth report. So uh, great questions, Bill, thanks for asking. And I see we have a lot more questions in the Q&A and I know a lot of you people individually, so I will follow up with you offline. But in conclusion, look, the growth report is the best way to elevate your market profile, drive engagement and customer retention, extend employee morale. It's an amazing way to do that and it's a great way to jumpstart your marketing plan. So. With that being said, I appreciate your time and attention today. We truly do want to help you leverage your time and investment in submitting story and advertising in Growth Report 2020. It's gonna be a great publication. We're excited that there's a brain gain theme to the Growth Report. And we look forward to fielding any questions, comments, concerns that you have, because once again, we are extremely committed to promoting the growth of business industry and quality of life in this five county region. We have 700,000 people, more than 700,000 people in this five county region that are, we are champions of, right? We're advocating for. So I do see that we have several questions and uh, you know, a great question from our friend here, Chad Cromer from Next Home Go 30 Realty. He's a great partner of the Business Journal. Uh, he had some real basic tactical uh, submission questions around aligning the content to the ads. And I think Chad and I will take that offline because I have, I have uh, some unique ideas I'm gonna share with Chad. So we're gonna take that offline. And I'm willing to share unique ideas with all of those individuals that, that reach out and, um, and inquire on the best way to leverage Growth Report 2020. So with that, that concludes the webinar. I thank you. We appreciate your time and attention today. And please, as always, uh, send a, an email, make a call, send a text, 
hit me on LinkedIn, whatever the case may be, you ask, I'll answer. Thank you and enjoy the rest of your day.